morning guys, how's everybody? Well, a few things to talk about. Parking guys. What the Jesus is wrong with people? That they cannot. If there's an inlay for four cars, you park in between the white lines allocated. You don't park across them. So, an inlay for four cars means four cars. Not two, not three, four. How, like, are people doing this still wrong? I'm witnessing it in, in work. I'm witnessing, witnessing it in, like, car parks of fucking shopping centres. I'm witnessing it closer to home, believe me, as well, all the fucking time. Like, what is wrong with people? Like, did they just walk away from it and go, that's grand? Because, to be quite honest with you, it's the biggest pain in the bollocks ever to be quite honest and I just think that people do it personally to uh, I think they do it on purpose to be quite honest with you because anybody parking in between two spots is an absolute dickhead and do not get me started on and I'm going to say two terms for this because I don't know what the PC term for it is the special needs parking or the handicapped parking I don't know what the PC term so I'm just going to say that what is wrong with people that they have to park there? I was taking Millie home from kickboxing the other night and they were an elderly couple. Now they looked from what they were looking to go into. The only thing that seemed to be on at that time was um, they were an elderly, like they were, I won't say the age just in case I offend anybody, but they were old enough, right? And the only thing that I think that was on there was, um, what do you call that thing, slimmer's glass? Um, not uni slim, whatever it's called, Weight Watchers or whatever it is. Um, and they just happily enough parked in the special needs or handicap parking. No bother, like. And just walked away from it. And only that they were that age, I was going to say something. And I said, you know what? I'm not getting into a fucking kerfuffle with an older couple. Do you know what I mean? So, but guys. Just fucking park properly, seriously. Don't be don't be a dickhead thinking that it's the greatest thing ever to park shy because it's not. You just look like a sap. Um what else? Yes. I was just saying last night, um I removed my profile from Facebook. I basically just got tired of having the phone in my hand all the time. Um, you know, and, and not giving Amelia enough attention and basically the family enough attention basically and I'm still posting content but I'll post it and then I put the phone down and I'll leave it the phone is not constantly in my hand anymore but it's I'll tell you one thing the freedom of it is ridiculous because I'll tell you one thing I'm sick of these fucking fools that literally the whole world is ratified or fucking you know, confirmed by are you okay home? Who's upset you home? Do you know what I mean? This bollocks attention seeking absolute fucking dimwits that don't have an absolute they don't have any kind of a life. So what they do is they post up these fucking memes or quotes about oh if they don't like me fuck them kind of thing, all this shite. I, I post up a bit of motivation, that's because I want to motivate people because I was motivated by my own um, insecurities from operations and stuff that I had and now I feel great so I will try and motivate people to feel better and stuff like that but this kind of passive aggressive now I've been guilty of it before myself guys I, I, I have done it when I've been in a spat with people but I just have to say I just there's a few you see I still have a profile there because I needed it but it's not public and but like Jesus Christ like, people get a fucking life, really. Like, when I did it, I was told off. One of them was my brother. He told me, Ken, just knock that shit in the head. You're better than that. A lot of people in the industry. And I said, you know what? You're fucking damn right. And I don't do it anymore because it's it's just pointless. But the gas thing is, these people have the same five dickheads kind of going, Are you okay, hon? What's wrong with you? Who's upsetting you, hon? Do you know what I mean? Fuck off. You know, it's absolute shite. And I've got anything else to talk about. No, I 
think that's today for the rants, guys. Um, I have a little nice one for Friday. So I'll tell you what. You have a good day today. And uh, I shall chat to you soon. Bye-bye.